In this Jedi Survivor video, I will be showing you how you can install mods for this game. Before we do get into this tutorial, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates, tips and tricks as well as mod videos for this game from me. So since Jedi Survivor has released, I've had a lot of comments on my videos asking me for help on how to install mods for this game. There are actually two ways to install mods for this game because there are two different types of mods. Most mods use this simple and fast way, but other mods that are more complex require a few more advanced steps. In this video, I will be guiding you through both ways because you never know if you're going to need to know how to install a mod through the other way. We will start with the simple and fast way because that is what most mods use. I also want to make it clear that mods are not available on console and never will be. They are PC only, so you must have the PC version of the game to make this work. It doesn't work on Xbox or PlayStation. So the first thing that you need to do is have either WinRAR or 7-Zip installed on your PC. There's a link to WinRAR or 7-Zip down in the description below and basically you just want to go ahead, download it and install it if you have not already because some mods do require you to open raw files. Then you're going to want to check out Nexus Mods and there'll be a link to that down in the description below and pick the mod that you want to download. Some mods such as this Inquisitor Outfit mod only require you to drag and drop some files into the game files whereas other mods do require some extra work which I will show you later on in this video. But as I'm showing you right now just head on over and download whichever mod you want. On the mod page either click files or manual and you can then hit slow download under the free section. I've had a lot of comments saying you need to pay for mods, no it's just for faster download speeds which really isn't a problem. Just click on the slow download section for each mod. You now need to find where the game is installed on your PC. For example, mine is on my C drive. Then I go to program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then there is the Jedi Survivor folder. Inside that, you want to head to SW game, content, packs. If you don't know where you've installed the game, just search in Windows Explorer and open that folder. For ease of use, I would recommend adding this folder to the quick access on the left hand side of Windows Explorer, so you're able to quickly access it whenever you want to install mods. The next step is to open the folder that you just downloaded for this mod, and then drag the files into the packs folder, and there you have it. You can launch the game, and the mods will be there. It's as simple as that. It's really easy. You'll get the hang of it if you've not done it before, once you've done it a few times. This is mostly to do with outfit mods and stuff like that, and each outfit mod will have a description as to what clothes they do replace, so make sure you do check that. Some mods may also conflict because they replace the same outfit, so you won't be able to use them at the same time, but that's just up to the modder depending what outfit they decide to replace. This section is now how to install mods that require a few more steps. It's a more advanced set of mods. For example, the mod that allows you to use all five stances without a meditation point can only be installed this way. Firstly, you will be wanting to open the GitHub link that's in the description of this video. You then want to scroll down and you'll find two download options called UE4SSX Imports and X Custom Game Configs. Download both of these. Once both of these have been downloaded, open up your Jedi Survivor Game Files folder once again. You want to open SW Game, then Binaries this time, followed by Win64. Then open the downloaded UE4SS folder and drag the mods folder, UE4SS settings and xinput.dll into the Win64 folder. Next, you need to open up the X custom game configs folder, like so, and inside there will be a Jedi Survivor folder. Open that up and drag its contents over into the Win64 folder. Let's now download a mod that requires this sort of installation. I'm using the Lightsaber Stances mod. Simply go ahead and download the mod just like you would any other mod. Click the slow download, you don't need to pay like some people seem to think you need to, and open up the mod folder that you've just downloaded. Inside there'll be a folder called Lightsaber Stances. Drag that over into the mods folder found in the Win64 folder. You'll be able to see it like so. Just make sure it's in that mods folder. You now need to go into the SW game folder 
select content, then packs, and drag this pack file into that pack folder. And there you have it. The mod is now installed. To uninstall it, all you need to do is delete the pack file, as well as the files that you've just imported into the Win64 folder, including the mods folder. And that's as simple as it is. Of course, if you're not uninstalling it yet, you can now go into the game and use the mod that you've installed. The lightsaber stances mod does require some extra steps. For example, you need to unbind your stance keybind, plus have the single blade stance equipped as your first stance already. But those steps are just specific to this mod and each mod is different, so please do read the mod description carefully because the modder has put in effort to not only create the mod but also make sure you can install it properly. As always, with any game using mods, there is always some side effects that may occur. For example, with the UE4 SS installation method, some people, including myself, have noticed longer waiting times, crashing, things like that. It's just how it is at the start of when a new game becomes moddable. If you need help with a specific mod, contact the modder on the Nexus mod webpage. Also be sure to leave your comments down below if you do have any other additional questions that aren't relevant to a specific mod and I hope you found this video useful. If you did please do drop a like to help support the channel as well as subscribe so you don't miss any future mod videos from myself. If you did miss any of my previous videos click on the playlist on screen right now and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.